Okay, oh my god, I gotta go wide for the tall Mary. <laughs> okay, so um, let's talk a little bit about Laurel. Now one of the things you said in Las Vegas was Laurel is from two houses. We're a little confused about that. Can you give us a little more insight? What does that mean? Well, uh, Laurel's father was of House Takuvma, and her mother was House Mokai. And so um, she was... <laughs> When growing up, she was her parents were from two different houses, and she was, um, you know, given a, a, a choice of who she was going to um, pledge her allegiance to. But in a certain way, Laurel is someone who knows how to compromise and uh, work with both. Now, you've said that there's kind of Klingon episodes. Does that mean episodes where the majority of the action's happening with the Klingons? No, you know, it's funny because I phrase it that way. It makes it sound like, I would say that uh, Klingon-heavy episodes, uh, certain episodes where you really get to see what we've been talking about, which is where you really see our side of the conversation. Um, obviously, you know, you know, Burnham, Federation, they are our core of the story. And so a lot of the story focuses around them always. And then, and then there are certain moments where you get a real amazing window into what the Klingon world is like and what conflicts they're going through internally in, adi in, in addition to how their conflicts are arising within the Federation. And, and, and how does your... Are you in most episodes, all episodes? I cannot reveal military secrets. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what can you say about, can you, uh, do we learn anything more about House Mokai or the other houses? There's so much about the House of Takuvma, but I think in Vegas you talked about the other houses. What can you say about that? You're definitely going to get to learn a lot more about various houses. I, I can't say much more than that, but I can promise you that it's, it's, you're going to get a flavor of a few different houses, and uh, I think you're going to like those flavors. Now, since you're doing all your dialogue in Klingon, or all within Klingon chip, how much do you understand what you're saying when you're saying it? I mean, it's phonetic, but do you completely kind of, have you learned Klingon really? Well, um, it's an interesting process because I do all of the phrases, all of the words, the monologues that I've said in Klingon, I do know the specific meaning of each word because we get these back translations, so I have word for word translations. So for those specific things that I've had to say, I do, in the moment, know what I'm saying. Um, I cannot speak it fluently yet because the syntax is so antithetical to anything I know. Um, I'd love to. Robin Stewart is very encouraging. Um, and uh, it's been such a thrill to, to talk with her and have her be so excited by what she's seeing. Because that's the ultimate compliment, is when somebody who loves the franchise and specifically loves Klingons is excited by the story we're telling. So um, I, I really think that that's, that's, that's the fun thing, is you do, the meaning is absolutely there. Maybe one day I'll really be fluent. It, though. That would be awesome. What's Laurel's signature weapon? What's her go-to Klingon weapon? Her brain. Brain. So not a debt, not not a bat lab. She knows how to use her literal weapons, but I think her strongest weapon is absolutely her brain and her heart. Okay. Thank you very much.